is that people really want to use the time for questions rather than uh, monologue. And so if, you, uh, if you'll if you just tolerate my brief uh, remarks, then we'll save you the time to get to the questions and hopefully you all will have lots of questions because by now you've had enough, and I'm trying to have enough caffeine in you and wake up and get going and you'll be satisfied and uh, you'll be eating us for lunch. So yay. Um, I had a couple of priorities as a state senator uh, and I tried to focus my attention on those priorities as much as possible. I worked very hard on a whole host of issues. You can go to my website, uh, which is the Florida Senate website, and see the history of the bills that I've worked on if you're interested in doing that. I'm not going to talk about all the bills that I've worked on. The great thing about being a state senator that the people who are running for my seat will, will realize and appreciate is that you're not limited in your bill slots. You, uh, the House members have six bill slots, and so they have to be very narrowly tailored to their interest, and I, uh, and as a senator, am not limited to that, so I can take on any issue uh, that I would like to take on and really work that issue. So I've worked on things, for instance, on food stamp bills, on the food stamp bill, and uh, that's the EBT bill, and, um, and that has been a high priority of mine, uh, will continue to be, and I hope that we will continue to take a look at that because the food stamp bills and the food stamp rolls are just exploding. But so are food stamp frauds. We know that we have people who are selling their food stamp cars on eBay. Uh, cards, not cars. <laughs> selling them, but they may get cards with them for all we know. Um, uh, we, uh, they're selling them on eBay, they're selling them on Craigslist. You cannot buy Fred Flintstone vitamins for your children with food stamps. However, you can buy uh, a, deli, a deli cake, a cake at Publix, sorry Publix, or Walmart for that matter. You can buy a bag of uh, chips, you can buy Oreos, you can buy Snickers, you can buy, you can buy crab legs, you can buy steak, you can buy ribeye, you can buy all sorts of things on your food stamps. My position is, is that if I'm going to take away from Mr. and Mrs. Smith, who are working really hard, cutting coupons and stretching their dollar, and I'm going to take it and give it to somebody, then what we want to buy is supplies for that person, basic foods, right? So staples, a lot like what WIC does, WIC is different, but it's also public welfare, and we narrowly tailor WIC, so you can buy red beans, uh, you can buy rice, you can buy the staples, but we're not going to let you go to Publix, for instance, and buy a chicken wing platter. We're not going to let you go to Publix and buy a vegetable plate and platter and cheese dish when you can go right over to the vegetable section and buy a bag of carrots that if you scrub yourself, you will get, you know, 10 times more carrots for the price that you would pay for that. I think it's irresponsible to our tax dollars and also I think that when you pay on the front end, when you're paying for people to have that food on the front end, then and you pay for their free medical care on the back end, you know what, we do have an obligation on both sides. So there are some people, Republicans included, who think that we should not be telling people how to spend their money. And guess who agrees with that? I agree. We should not tell people how to spend their money. We should tell people how to spend our money. And so when we are giving people our money, then it comes with, it should, it should come with, it doesn't come with, but it should come with strings attached, and that is, you know what, I will buy you potatoes, I will buy you meat for your children, I will buy you bread, I will buy you milk. I will not buy you Mountain Dew, I will not buy you potato chips. And so here are some critical points that we need to pay attention to. One is, this is something that the state can do. The state can take a look at what we spend. If you call DCF today and ask them what we spend on potato chips in the state, or how many sheet cakes were purchased with EBT dollars, you know what they will tell you? They don't know. That's right, they don't know. And I say, well, how do you know? What do you mean you don't know? How do you know that it's a proper expenditure? For instance, you're not allowed to buy toilet paper with EBT dollars, right? So how do you know they haven't went, gone and purchased a whole truckload of toilet paper with their EBT dollars? You can't tell me you don't know, because I guarantee you this, Publix knows. So does Walmart. So does all the convenience stores. Everybody knows that merchants know, and we ought to know too. So that is something that the state can do. Take a look at that. So I'm going to set aside the EBT issue, but that's an issue that, that I think that is important, and I think it will be continue to be important. I'm not for cutting it. If you, if you need it, 
then I, I'm for, you know, if we want to help you, if we want to help somebody, but we ought to be responsible with taxpayer money, and we ought not to allow the fraud that is occurring. So that I should not be able, if I have a food stamp card, I should not be able to sell it to somebody else, get the cash back. We have that happening all the time. All the time. Very, very difficult. So that's something that should be taken care of. Another issue.